I hear the soft tapping of the water that dances through the sky to reach my window. The soothing psalm sings endless, with countless interpretations twirling through the air. The drizzle can encompass so much while saying so little. It can mournfully whisper a song of sorrow or joyfully chant the arrival of new life. The vastness can only be interpreted through accompanying human experience. As I'm sitting by my window, enthralled with the song of the rain, three precise booms cut through the empty house, shocking the atmosphere from calamity to anxiety in mere seconds. I see myself open the door to reveal the source of unrest. The monster stumbles into the previously safe and warm home, accompanied by fear and darkness. In an instant, the rain is no longer singing, but sobbing. Sobbing in fear and regret for leaving a child to face the demon alone in the one place that should be safe, a place that can never truly be called home. And suddenly I'm in the rain, moving bricks as the monster laughs, the dissonant sound piercing my skull and burning itself into my brain. As the torture continues, my only solace is the rain.